Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome to TGTV. So it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos. Uh, in this one, I'm just going to show you some basics for setting your in interface with Amplitude 5. Okay, so this is the main landing page that you see when you launch A5. Okay, and just by custom shop here, this is the settings page. Okay, so this video is just about the basics for setting your input and output for this unit. Okay, and uh, always select ASIO where possible. Avoid these two you get the best possible sound if you use SEO okay and uh, we're gonna look uh, you actually change it through output first so the output device is my Scarlet Solo so that's the one that's selected there as you can see I'm using the stereo outputs at the back one and two so that's absolutely fine as it is now this interface that I've got I've got two main inputs okay there's the XLR input which is mainly for vocals and that kind of thing and the second one which is more for instruments including guitar which is input two so hence I've just selected input two for both of these input channels, okay? The other bit to tell you about is buffer size, okay? Now, uh, as you make this a lot lower, uh, there's a, a thing called latency, which is, means a slight delay between what you hear through the speaker from when you play it on the guitar, okay? Uh, now, if the buffer size is higher, the latency is higher. So if the number's higher, the latency is higher, which means there's more of a delay. So where possible, you want to try and bring this down, however, if you bring it down too low, the sound can actually break up and you get poor quality sound. I don't mean distortion, I just mean it starts to crackle and just kind of, it's gen, you know, just kind of a, a poor quality kind of sound. So just a good starting point with a lot of PCs. It's based on your PC um, power as well, okay. So, you know, start with 256 I say a lot of times and uh, just give 128 a try as well. It also depends on the other stuff that you're using as well as the um, plugin that you've got open at the same time because you're using you know, power of the CPU there within that, okay. Uh, MIDI input, we're just gonna leave it on this one. There's some other options here which I'm gonna cover in the future, but at the moment, this is just giving you an idea of how you set up your interface. Now, as long as you've got this thing set up correctly, you should be hearing sound coming out, you know, obviously the input going in, you'll see the input meters flash, and you should also see the output meters flash as well. If you do have any issues with this, um, you know, it's been a bit of a a few teething issues with me for Amplitude 5, but you know, there's fantastic support from IK Multimedia, so it's definitely worth anyway going onto the community that's on there and signing up to it because there's loads of good tips on there. And if you're having any kind of issues, the tech guys there are superb, you know, they'll talk you through loads of troubleshooting steps and get it sorted out for you, and they do it quick as well, you know, and they, they know the stuff as well. So, um, I definitely advise going on there as well. But yeah, I hope you found this useful and uh, just keep an eye out for more of these videos. I'll be doing some more plug-in stuff this year, including Ampertube, obviously. But yeah, have a fantastic day and thank you for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.